There are two ways you could be asked to calculate average rate. One is from a table and the other is from a graph. So we're going to start by looking at the table. You'll find this equation in the front of your data book. Average rate equals delta quantity divided by delta time. The delta means change in quantity, so that quantity could be a volume, it could be a mass, it could be a concentration. Delta time is change in time, so the time could be measured in seconds, minutes, hours, milliseconds. You use whatever units you've been given. First question here asks us to calculate the rate of reaction between two times. So the first set of times is 0 and 30. So we're looking at 0 seconds and 30 seconds. So our change in quantity is going to be between 0 and 9. So we write out average rate equals 9 minus 0 divided by 30 minus 0, so that's our two quantities, so that gives us 9 divided by 30, which will overall give us an average rate of 0 0.3. This is where you have to have a look and see what units you've been using. So we've been using centimetres cubed, and that's per second, so that's s to the minus 1. For the next example, it's asking you for a time period that does not start at zero. So it's asking you for between 30 and 60 seconds. So we're looking here at 30 and 60. So our change in quantity is going to be 11 minus 9. And your change in time is 60 minus 30. So that'll give you 2 divided by 30, which equals 0 0.67. And again, it's centimetres cubed, so it's volume per second, so s to the minus 1. The other way that you could be asked to do an average rate is to read it from a graph. So here we have a graph which shows mass against time and we're being asked to calculate the average rate. Again, we're using the same formula that we had before. So we'll calculate the average rate between 0 and 10 minutes. So onto the graph, you need to draw in where the 0 and the 10 minutes are. So 0 is here, and it's given off 45 um, as our mass, and then 10 minutes. So you need to trace a line up from 10 until it hits your graph and then you need to trace a line across. So here we can see that at 10 minutes, we've got a mass of 30. So for our average rate calculation, we have 45 minus 30 for our quantity, and we have 10 minus zero for the time. So that gives us 15 divided by 10, equals 1.5. Back to the graph and have a look and check your units. So it's in grams as your quantity and time is per minute. Final example here is again looking at time period which does not start at zero. So we're looking between 10 and 20 minutes. So we need to go back and put in another line at the 20 minute point. So Trace up our line from 20 until it hits the graph. And then trace across to the mass. So you can see now we are working out this area between the 10 and the 20. So we've got 30 and we've got 20 as our two values for mass. So that's our quantity. So 30 minus 20 divided by 20 minus 10 for the time. That's 10 divided by 10 equals 1. And again, it's in grams per minute.